My name's Walt. I work as night watchman here at Fred's Wax Museum to put myself through criminology college. It used to be very lonely, until recently when I plugged in my crime computer. Suddenly, oscillating vibrations brought to life three legendary monsters. Dracula! The Werewolf! And Frankenstein! Creatures hated and feared for centuries, now determined to make up for their past misbehaving by fighting crime wherever they find it. Together, we're the Monster Squad! Candle. If you blow it out on your first pop, your wish comes true. That's right, Wolf. What'd you wish for last time? I wished for another birthday party. everywhere and that nobody would ever need the monster squad again it's a great wish frank what's the matter with the lights maybe i blew too hard no i've got a feeling it's going to be a long time before that wish comes true frank me too i have a very strange feeling in my ball i do too but it doesn't count, because they're not really my bones. I've never seen a Band-Aid this long. He must have been in some accident. You fool, he's a mummy. You mean she's a mummy, you idiot. This is King Tooth. 3,000 years old. When he died, they wrapped him in a bandage and made him a mummy. And that's the electro there. Right here on the mummy tummy? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Have a care, Bluetooth, or you'll end up on this slab yourself. I wouldn't like that. <sighs> this man was a genius. He is considered to be the father of modern crime. You mean the mummy of modern crime. Here are and menaced millions of people. Where else could that happen but in America? Egypt. Well, Egypt, a lot of people, I guess. Ignore that pun, but only because you are so pitiful. Thanks, boss. Now, I will bring King Tut back to life. Then I will bring back to life all of the arch villains of history. I will create an army of the most evil men that ever lived. All dead people? All dead people. What? <laughs> Think of it, Bluetooth. Attila the Hunt, Alexander the Great, Jack the Ripper, Adolf the Hitler. All the oldies <laughs> but baddies. But first we must bring him back to life. How are you going to do that, Skull? Mr. Skull to you. But think of the rewards, Bluetooth. I'll be the ruler of the world. Because my army can't be killed. And you know why? Because uh, all the other armies are lousy shots. No. My soldiers can't be killed because they are already dead. <laughs> but enough late conversation. Activate the dynamos. Dynamos activated. Switch on transformers. City power lines. Power lines attached. Life serum. Life serum.
begin countdown. Take it easy. You may huff and puff, but don't blow the house down. Okay, Walt. <sighs> oh, no. Now you've done it. Gee, Walt, I didn't even huff and puff. Wait a minute. <laughs> you guys, the entire city is in darkness. Something terrible is happening. Some new criminal on the loose. Come on, let's track him down. Oh, wait a minute, Bruce. This is a job for the crime computer. First, we need light. Has anybody got a candle? No. no. The cake! <laughs> Not now, Frank! Gee, Walt, I got my wish. I wish for the candle you wanted, Frank. Have you ever thought of having your head recalled? Squad. Well, where are you off to? You going bike riding? Bring that candle over here, you guys. So it'll pump juice into the computer. Oh! Squad, check those cars. Loss of city life. To unprecedented drain on city power supply. Unless corrected immediately. A, a city faces terrible chaos. And or crisis. This time we will succeed. a terrible thing, Mr. Skull, turning off all the light in the city just when Husky and Starch is on. Well, this is the last peaceful night this city will ever have. Get the switch, Bluetooth. Oh. He moved! This is my moment. This is my prize. The ultimate villain. The criminal who can't be killed. Oh, now no one will stop me. How about the monster squad? Bite your tongue. <laughs> Not even the monster squad can stop me now. I am invincible. All those scientists at the university they will be laughing out of the other side of their faces if they have faces <laughs> after I am through with them. No more Mr. Nice Guy, eh, Skull? <laughs> now all I need is ten million dollars to get the equipment I must have. I have some pop bottles we can cash in at the supermarket. <laughs> this rat is, is so crude. Too much guesswork. Someday I will have a machine that pops them up when they are done. Now, you are royal. Repulsiveness? <laughs> you bandaged bundle of banditry? We have work to do. Low, low things, your highness. <laughs> Come now, you rag wrapped ruler. We shall take the measure of this city. We shall steal the ten million dollar Selma Dial. 
Hon Thuy, that diamond is worth ten million. Guard it with your life. Kung Fui, glad to die for Selma Diamond. Well, we have machine guns, bazookas, and tear gas to help you. Guard it with your life! Hi! Hi. robbery in our city's history took place today. Nearly 400 bullets were fired into what appeared to be a living mummy as he strode into Spiffany's jewelry store and stole the $10 million Selma diamond. Sounds like a job for the monster squad. It takes one to catch one. <laughs> Drac, hop on the bike. We've got to fire up the computer. This is worse than I thought. An evil genius is behind these power failures and this incredible robbery. Who is he? He is... the Skull. The Skull? Come on, squad. We've been in great peril. This won't be the first time. I just hope it isn't for the last. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look how it sparkles and glows. It's ten times bigger than the one Dick gave Liz. Oh, diamonds are a ghoul's best friend. <laughs> Skull, something's happening to King Tooth. What's happening? Victory! No temperature. No pulse. I know what is wrong with him. Get him on the table, quick! He needs another jolt of electricity. You could have killed me. Now he tells me. Quick, another zapper. He'll be dead in seconds. Here it is, fellas. We're to proceed to a small cottage on Lois Lane. Lois Lane? It's in the shadows near Villain's Graveyard. Villain's Graveyard? I, I used to live there. Oh, what a delightful place to grow up. Good. Jack, you fly over the old neighborhood and see what you can find out. I am flying high. <laughs> Bruce, you get down to the graveyard, see what you can dig up. I'll leave no stone unturned. Oh. Frank, you pay a visit to the cottage on Lois Lane, but be careful. Your great strength cannot save you from these evil doers if they're in the least bit suspicious. Don't you worry, Walt. I'm not only big in body, I'm big up here. Hurry, Frank. Don't worry. I know a shortcut. Hello, my name is Frank. Frank? Frank N. Stein. I'm very busy, Mr. Stein. Good day. Uh, this house is shown by our computers to be draining the entire city of electricity. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Won't you come in, Mr. Stein? Very nice. Yes, we, we like it. Very cozy. Huh? Now, about that electricity. The amount that you're using is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> A very good guess, Mr. Stein. That is exactly what we use it for. 
You're causing an energy crisis. Oh? Subways are stopped. People are getting caught on elevators between floors. You're making people walk. <laughs> you are very funny. Nighty-night. It never fails. Good work, Bluetooth. You too, your royal lowness. It was really nothing. So you thought we didn't recognize you, eh? You fool. I wonder what it is in that big head of yours where brains are supposed to be. <laughs> Go, watch the switch. <laughs> Mighty Frankenstein, some spoof. Where were you made, Taiwan? Oh. We usually use this table to bring the dead back to life. But we can also use it to do just the opposite. You know, I started in a laboratory like this. <laughs> it is only fitting that you should end in one. It's all coming back to me now, lying here like this. You're my daddy? What? You preposterous pile of putrefying parts. You mixed up millions of anatomical anomalies. You mindless putrid. Take that back. You couldn't be my father. Fathers don't talk to sons that way. You don't have a father. But in a few seconds you will meet your maker. <laughs> Shock it to him, Bluetooth. Mr. Skull, how long does it take a guy to depart on this table? Seconds. Or maybe a little longer, depending on how much he sweats. The better the contact, the faster he goes. Well, Frankenstein must be using one heck of an antiperspirant. What are you talking about? It don't seem to be doing anything to him. What? See? He's smiling. You dummy as rigor mortis. Better known as the death grin. <laughs> well, it seems to be spreading to his hands. His whole rigor seems to be mortizing. I haven't felt this good in years. Oh, heavens. He's got enough electricity in him to finish ten men. Finish me? I get a charge out of it. <laughs> the juice to me, Goose. Quick, pull the reverse switch. Reverse, reverse, parrot. Let's three and one. Let's get down. Let the... Oh. <laughs> That's a no-no. <laughs> Count Dracula. I told you to put up the screen. <laughs> How nice. You prepared lunch, just like my mother. A blue plate for special. Welcome to the farm, Wolf. This time, you ghastly gallon of gauze, I'm gonna wrap you around my little finger. <laughs> nice doggy. Don't doggy me. I'm going to bury you in the yard with the rest of my bones. In a minute, my slippery friend, you'll be wearing those teeth as a necklace. I wouldn't be caught. 
dead in a place like this. <laughs> exactly how you will be caught. Circus freak. It appears to be that you are in a very grave situation. <laughs> Get me out of here, you fiend! Why? The funeral... <laughs> the funeral arrangements are already made. You're already in your grave, and your loved ones will be notified. I'm not dead yet. Oh, I keep forgetting. I have a nice silver bullet for you. I know it's an extravagance, but... Well, if a werewolf must be killed with a silver bullet, then I will go first, Cabin. You'll never get away with it! Make sure this bullet hits its mark, because it is very expensive. Work wolf! Old skin and bones himself. This happened to Bluetooth. His teeth are turned white. He sure did. That's how scared he was. I'm glad. Now I'm like everybody else. I don't even feel like being wicked anymore. Hey, kid. Here's a tip. Go back to school. Hey, I wonder what a mummy looks like under all those bandages. Why don't we unwrap them and find out? Very good idea. Hey, I'm so excited. It's going to be like opening a birthday present. <laughs> this kind of gift you don't want, Frank. Boy, I better be glad to get out of there. Mm. Hey, Frank, grab that. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Unless this guy's got a crew cut, I think we're in trouble. We've been robbed. What are you rolling all those bandages for? I am adding a new monster to our monster hall of infamy. This, my friends, is going to be the mummy. Walt, when you unwrapped the mummy, mm -hmm. you didn't find anything inside, right? Right. But something was moving inside those bandages. Something that had brains and feelings and a fiendish cunning. And you know what I think? I think there was an invisible villain inside of here. He could be in this room right now. Ridiculous. It cost a quarter to get into this museum. Where would he keep the change? Well, King Toot, if you are here, you might as well come over. I'm making you a brand new suit. Might as well get the right size. <laughs> I felt something. I 